Hi, it's Rob from The Brush and Balkan. Today I'm going to be doing a quick tutorial on how to paint Canoptic Wraiths. If you like the channel and you'd like to support me, my coffee and Patreon page is a link below. Now onto the video. So this is the finished Canoptic Wraith that we're going to be working on during this video. Really pleased with how it turned out and I really like the miniatures themselves too. I think they've got a really creepy kind of alien-esque kind of pose going on. The way they're all raised up and ready to lunge forward. So really like the miniatures too. So the first colour that we're going to use here is Citadel Black Templar. I'm going to be using this on all the sections that I'll be painting black. So you've got all the kind of joints between the armour plating. You've got the initial parts of the legs around the kind of light domes on the back and things like that. And then all the way down that tail except for the blade at the end. So you can give them a coat of Black Templar. And once that's all done, move on to the next colour. If you find that you've done one layer of Black Templar and it needs another layer, then that's fine, just add another layer to it and that should fill in any gaps or any streaks that may be left. But generally, it's a pretty good colour to use for that. We're now going to use some Vallejo White and this is going to be to do all of the areas that are going to be glowing. So you've got like eye lenses, you've got that kind of glowing bit at the top there, you've got the sides of the gun and the globe at the front, you've got these little orbs going down the sides of the tail there and some orbs coming out the side of the body you've got ones on top and one big one below so there's plenty to do with the white now we're going to be using citadel canoptech alloy we're going to be using this to do the shoulders and the head of the wraith so when I say the shoulders, I mean that first big armour plate just behind the head there. The rest of it we're going to be using Runelord Brass on as the initial base colour, but we're going to be using the Canoptech Alloy for the head and that first initial plate on each side of the shoulders there. Next up, Citadel Rune Lord Brass, and we're going to go around and we are going to paint all of the areas that we may have got other colours on. So there's probably going to be a little bit of Black Templar on there. You can splash that on quite well. So we're going to go over these armour plates and get them so they are nice and smooth. Rune Lord Brass. You've also got the sections underneath as well. There is a lot of plates underneath, which I didn't initially realise. But you have the plates down the back and then some underneath too. Now it's Citadel Iron Hand Steel. I'm going to use this to do the ends of the legs, give them a nice silvery metallic look. So that's each leg. You've got the three on the side and then the, the two sort of like front ones that almost look like the little ground checking things that camel spiders have. So those initial bladed legs at the front there. Also you've got the blade on the end of the tail too. And I do part of the back of the weapon underneath it as well where that cable goes to join in. There's a little section at the back of that. I join that on there. So now we're going to wash all of the silvery metallics with Citadel Nuln Oil. So give that a good coating, get all that into the recesses to bring out those details. Now we're going to use Citadel Cryptek Armour Shade Gloss. Couldn't remember the name there for a minute. We're going to use this on all of the Rune Lord Brass and also all of the Canoptech Alloy. Now we're going to get all the glow going on. We're going to use Citadel Tesseract Glow. And all we're doing here is painting this onto each of the white sections. So what I try and do is put a little bit more than you'd need on there. You can either 
shade it initially with some apothecary white contrast so that you get that kind of darker area around the edges and then when you repaint the tesseract glow on you will have that lighter area in the middle or what I'll do here is I paint it with just tesseract glow that will give you sort of like the dark area around the edges but also may give you some dark areas around the middle but we'll use a little bit of white to bring out the glow in the middle and then repaint them a little bit later so reapplying colors now we're going to start with citadel rune lord brass so working on the panels this one's starting here and all the ones down to the back of the tail leaving the shoulders as they are and also the panels on the underside too we're going to be reapplying the rune lord brass leaving some of these almost stains where the armor shade gloss has pooled a little bit or left sort of tarnish marks it's one of the things i really love about this shade i'm quite gutted that they're going to be getting rid of it according to the latest thing about which paint's not going to be doing anymore so a bit sad that that's going but needs must now we're going to use citadel Conoptak alloy so we're going to do exactly the same as we did on the rune lord brass areas on the shoulders but what i'm doing here is i am highlighting the areas where the rune lord brass is on the lower parts too so on the rune lord brass areas you want to be doing about 50 percent of the area that you've just covered with the rune lord brass again and on the shoulders here you want to be doing it so that it is mainly canoptech alloy leaving in some of those tarnish marks trying to just roughly blend that in using a tiny little bit of paint and spread dragging it away from those tarnish marks so that you get a thinner edge around them it's not just a straight line Next up, we are going to be using a little bit of Vallejo Model Air Chrome mixed with the Canoptech alloy, so you get that nice highlight. And annoyingly, most of this is off camera. And what I'm doing really is just edge highlighting. If there's any areas where you've got a nice shiny bit where there's lots of Rune Lord brass or Canoptech alloy on show, we're just adding a little bit of this to it just to give it that final shine. And then the rest of it is just going on the edges, so any of those edges around the little kind of vents or along those ridges on the back, the edge of the armor plates, that kind of thing. You want to make sure that you catch all of those. We're going to start with Vallejo German Grey and start working on the black sections of the miniature. So what we're doing here is any area that be catching the light, we are going to be using some German Grey on those areas where we used the Black Templar earlier on. So when you're thinking about the snaky bit at the bottom, you're only going to be putting the German Grey on the top sides of it so depending on where it is on the tail and how it's posed depends on where you will be putting that it's a very simple way of making it look like the light is catching it from above but just apply the german gray where the light will be hitting it on the top surfaces and we can move on to the next color the final color we're using on the black is citadel mechanica standard gray and if you ever wanted a section of video where you can't see what's going on this is the one for you sadly i've moved it out of position so you can't see but all we're using the Mechanica Standard Grey for is edge highlighting. So any edges that would be catching light, just use Mechanica Standard Grey to edge highlight those. There's quite a few on the tail, might take you some time to do this layer. But just do those edges with Mechanica Standard Grey on every of the parts where you've used the German Grey or the Black Templar. And that'll make all those edges stand out. Next colour is going to be Citadel Iron Hand Steel. What we're going to do is we're going to use this on the areas that we used iron hand steel on previously just kind of doing the top section for each of these limbs the same with the ones on the front too and I'm picking out details and edges just doing a little bit of highlighting with the iron hand steel to make the shine around those edges in different areas so that when the light catches the miniature itself it will look really really cool you also want to leave some of that null oil on there not just in the recesses just so it's got that tarnished and old look as they've been sleeping for several thousand years or what have you. So now I'm going to use a little bit of Vallejo Model Air Chrome. And we're just going to do some edge highlights on these sections. And that is just to bring out the shine on the tops of those edges and ridges. Just to make those details really stand out.
Now to tone down any bits that you might have put a little bit too much iron hand steel on, like there's a few little areas here, I'm just going to use a little bit of Citadel Agrax Earthshade, and this will really tarnish those areas up and give it that kind of dirty, grimy look. Like anything that's been in, I don't know, an army stores or a garage, will always have that kind of weird, grimy look to it. So you're just going to put some of this on to darken that down and dull that down again, leaving the highlights around the edges of it, so that you still have that shine on the edges, but you have that nice dull area in the middle. Now we're going to use a tiny little bit of Vallejo White. What we're going to do here is paint the centre of each of these bits that we painted earlier. On the pieces on the back and on the stomach, we are going to do like a cross, so that you have a little bit of the white going into the corners of each of those parts but for the general pieces themselves like the little lights that are just flat spots you're just going to put a little bit in the middle and what this is for is when we reapply some tesseract glow in a moment we're going to apply it really thin so that you have a nice bright yellow glow at the center of each of those globes and that'll make that really really stand out so tesseract glow here is the final layer we are just going to put that on really thin over those areas and that'll give that a really really bright glow and make those stand out so much it's one of the things i absolutely adore about this tesseract glow it's such a good color if you want anything to glow brightly this is definitely the one to use So this is the finished Canoptec Wraith. Really, really simple paint job, but it really does show them off. Once you've got a little group of them scurrying around the battlefield, looking terrifying, all painted up, they should look pretty grand. Really pleased with how it turned out. It's another one for the bag. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you have, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future content. Also, think about subscribing to some of our other social media linked below. Thanks very much. If you like the channel and you enjoy the content and you'd like to support me, my coffee and Patreon pages are linked below. Thanks very much.